Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below, so check that out and they have links. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. It's fun to get feedback what people think. And also, um, if you're watching or watched number 146 the black and white abstract you know right in the middle of that i had an idea and i struggled not to do it well i'm doing it now so we're going to do a lot of the same well just first thing's going to be the same we're going to put the wispy here and then we'll see what else happens i know i want to put something red i'm not sure maybe even blue eh, probably red just because i don't know red it was my idea, so I'm going to stick with it. All right. And I don't know what red I'm going to use. I'll write that down. So, let's get going. Find my, let me find my stuff. Oh. Okay. I've got my Revlon here. Now, I totally screwed up telling y'all what the settings were. I'm going to do this again. The cool is no heat and high air volume. The low is high heat, low air volume. High air volume, low air volume. And the high is high heat, high air volume. I hope I got that right. For some reason, I get, I get all turned around. This is the only one with the low air volume. These two are hot, that's cold, so I probably confused you even more. But I hate not correcting my information because I know people are sitting there going, what? All right. That and the Nutella. I tried to be neat and move everything out of the way, and I don't even know where I went with my Nutella. Here we go. Sorry. I truly sit down and then shoot from the hip. I need to get more organized, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's clogged. Because somebody didn't put the lid on last night. I'm going to blame that on Henry. All right, I'm waiting for it to squirt. Because it's... I'm going to get in there and clean that out. There. Okay. We're just going to go with that. So this is uh, high volume, high heat. I'm going to try not to make it go over the edge. Well, that was, that's gone. Okay, that splattered and I'm not happy um, with it. I ran out of ink and I spit. Okay, I'm going to redo some of this. It probably won't matter in the big picture, to be honest, but right now it bugs me. So...
I don't like those. I don't want that. I want everything kind of smooth-ish. Okay, I'm calling it. So, yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Do I want it dark like this? No, I want it dark. Okay, not me. So, I'm gonna put some alcohol here and run my canning lid in it. I think I want a big one. Um, I'm gonna just make like an indication. Nothing huge, just something. Maybe something like that. And leave that. Let that be that. Um, just to do something in there. I think I want to do, I just thought of this, I'm going to do a red flower, but I think I'm going to do white for the stem and leaves. Yes. So I don't want to put any more, anything to lighten it else, but I do want to put black, but I think I'm going to wait till I get that down and put the black over these circles. So that'll be another layer. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Okay. Um, I'm not using my water. Move that out of the way. I need to get a red. What do I want to use as my red? Something really not too bright, but bold. Okay, I went with crimson. And my Blanco. Can you even see that? Yeah. Well... So, I have to stand up and look in my viewfinder, but I don't want to write something and it be off camera. Okay. I'm so bad about leaving my lids off, so I have to check. All right. Let's think about this for a sec. How do I want to do this? Um, I think I'm just going to kind of do it where it's facing you. I, I think this could just handle not a huge flower, but one like this. And I would love to have a bud. I don't know why I like doing buds. So let's just do that. And I need, what do I need? This. Okay. And you got to make that noise. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get get my get my thoughts here. <laughs> After that, that kind of blew it. Um, all right. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be pretty. And I like where that black's coming through because it just adds some dimension to it. That's crazy. All right.
Well, that's fine, but I need it to go farther. So let's. And I'm going to push that in because I want it to get a little solid. I'm going to leave that lighter. I like the darker better, but I'm going to leave that light just because it's going to need something to uh, look dimensional. That's pretty wild. That, yeah, I like that. Um, what am I doing here? Kind of changing my mind. I was going to do an open flower, but I'm really liking how this is, looks. Like it's just going through. Oh, and you know we're going to outline in white. That's going to be insane. Okay. Do I want to do... You know, I, I might still do my original and not do that. Because I think, I think that's what I want to do. I want a pretty big showing of a flower here. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. That's pretty wild. It's really dark right now, and I, I'm really wanting to lighten this up a little bit, but that white outline is going to kick it up a little, and that's going to be crazy fun. I'm going to do bud right here. I really like that that's weird shape. I think. Okay. Wish it was a little smaller in proportion. But there's no reason I can't make that a little bit bigger. So let's do that. What I do like about putting the ink down and then the Blanco is... I can start anywhere. It really doesn't show where you start the process unless there's so much of a different color. Darken that. I don't want that all light. Okay. 
I'm going to try to put a dark one right through here. So I'm going to put down about three drops of ink, maybe one of that. Yeah, I like that. Makes me want to put a little bit more over here. Because it is, it is changing the look a little bit, and I don't want it to be just half one way and half another. There. Maybe one right there, and that's it, because I want to keep that one. I like that. And just because I said that, I won't be able to. I'll blow right over it, probably. Okay, that I'm good with. Very good with. And I wore my paint shirt because yesterday I got white all over my black t-shirt. And I thought, okay, I've got to suit up for this because apparently I'm messy. I like that. All right, I've got just designated plates for black and white paint because I'm tending to be using it. Now, what I do, I wish I had a more um, thinner white, and I do downstairs. I just have to go get it, because this one I have to water down. It's just really thick. But this, uh, this one's just a craft one, and it's a good consistency. Okay, I'm going to put my black over these. I'm not going to go over that. I'll take it around it. I like the messiness of the two lines. I do like that. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, that's all the abstract, I think, unless I put a line or something in. But I want to wait. I can do that later. So... I'm going to put a black with some of the white um, accents right there, and well, let me think, let me think, let me make it look like, so there's a line right there, so I'm going to follow that line. And I'm going to let that be around. And I want this to have some texture. It's the reason I'm not taking a brush to it. I want it to kind of dry with some bumpiness. And, you know, we'll probably add some glitter to it. Who knows? All options are open. I want it, this looks like it's going this way. I really want it to go something like this because I don't want to come over here with my stem. So I want to do this. So I really need to fill this in and make it kind of pull around. There, that's that's looking like it ought to. And I want to put some dots, which I'm gonna do with white accent. Them. 
Not a lot, but it's some. Okay. Now would be a good time to go ahead and put the white on top. And I know it's not dry. And it may I may dry it, but right now I'm going to see what, what it'll kind of do. Yeah, I'm going back over that with some black. Okay, I'm going to leave it. We're going to come back to it. Or I may like it. I, do, I am kind of liking the mixture a little bit. Okay, that's too big. Let me get my stylist to do that. Completely covered that up. There. Okay. I know it's messy. And I might go back over and redo it. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, so... I need my liner brush. I hate it when I put things up where they're supposed to go. I can't ever find them. Here's a challenge. I'm going to blow some squigglies with the white. My guess is the black's going to interfere with it. I may have to spray it, but then it makes it, makes it beat up. I might have to water this down enough to make it do its thing. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I'm coming through like this. Go right through the wet black. Okay, we might have to go back over them.
Okay. Think, think, think. Okay, I'm grabbing some more of this. My goal is here to, um, I mean, the runnier the better, I believe. Um, take the stylist. I'm getting my air hose in my ear again. And let's see what it does. We'll do something here. Too thick. Okay, that seems pretty. Pretty thick. I mean, thin. Pretty unpredictable. And it's going pink over the red. It's not on this, but the Blanco, I think, has something to do with that. So, at this point, just go with it. Do what it does. Let it do its thing. It's interesting. It's definitely not ugly. I'm keep I'm going over and over the same spot to try to get a little wider. Cuz it looks a little ghosty, which is really cool. But as it puts more layers, it, it gets wider.
I do wish that was white. Which makes me wonder, can I go over it with a brush and little maybe get some of this thicker. Okay, that is too stiff of a brush, so let me just do this one. And I'm getting it over here in a little bit of a thicker paint. I really don't see a big difference in which brush I use. I hope y'all cannot hear my stomach growling. that we just keep kind of going over it and let it flow like that to get less pink. You're still going to have the pink. Okay, I just made that worse. Okay. So, quit working it. Um, this has been interesting. It's gone a little pink again. I'm going to get this figured out with the white and the acrylic to what works well. storming outside. It's my stomach. All right. Um, so I'm going to try and they're going to go pink. Some of this. Let's see. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. Leave it alone. That's going to dry. And let's do this. So I may not do squigglies there at all because that's a big chunk of wet. That's got to go. I just can't do it. So we're going to get these things back out. Either make this one bigger or make this a flower. Make this a flower.
Okay. And that's how you change gears. So, um, if that one's going that way, there's really no reason to have a center. Um, I do want to fix this. Okay. I'm loving these. These are doing really well. Apparently, the Blanco has something to do with things. Um, because this is not changing. And I'm going to go back over those because I really want some of those bright. And it also brings up the question of I wanted to outline it white. And if it's going to turn pink, I don't want to. So, I may do the white here to pull in your eye a little bit. But, for a moment, I want these a little brighter. So, get some water. This is a little thicker than it was, but I think it's going to be fine because it's staying in that middle, so that may be a good thing. So the first round was thinner to create the squiggles, and then the second, or really the fourth round or something, I just, I'm making it a little brighter and brighter in the center. I like that. That's not too bad. I'm liking it better. So, I'm going to take my big ring and I'm going to put it in my white. And really decide what I'm going to do. I don't know that these need it, but this does. And I'm going to do outside or inside, just not on top. Did just what I didn't want to. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll go with that. It's about the best fix I can do. Um, I may blow some back over that, though. I do like this. Adding the white to it to kind of bring your eye a little bit brighter. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. All right, we'll look at it. That's not too bad. I actually do like it. I am going to blow that over there. That little bitty spot is wearing me out. And it's an easy fix, so let's fix it. No, 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 don't do that. Don't go up in there. All right. Yep, I like this. I'll put white blobs in that pink. I'm going to leave that. I am. Um, I think there's enough other stuff going on that that tells it although I do want to do this I think it needs a little distinction on my leaves, maybe, or my petals. Something right there. I don't know why, I just think something needed to be there. Now I'm watering it down and just kind of softening it. Taking some of it out, I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't like that much. Okay. All right. I am thinking that is a done deal, except for, I do want to stick some white right here. That's good. We'll brighten up these stems a little bit.
Thank you. 